and group fitness instructor in Olympia. She was born and raised in Japan and moved to Canada first in late 1980s to take a college education. During her corporate career, she met her husband from Olympia, so she moved to the United States and got married in 2004. Physical fitness is always in her lifestyle <coughs> and her passion, so she switched her career from corporate to health and fitness in 2010. Wow, talking about totally different fields, huh? She is a martial, a martial, martial artist training karate over 25 years. That is why she is wearing her uniform. She's wearing the, how do you call that? Uh, karate. So don't worry, she's not going to give us a demo, unfortunately. <laughs> I would like to see that. In fact, today she's going to share her recent experience about flexing her internal muscles. Please welcome Akiko for her speech. <laughs> it is interesting. Yesterday, around this time, I posted a comment in our Toastmaster group, uh, group uh, Facebook page that, help, <laughs> I don't have any idea, I haven't come up with any idea what to speak for the world speech. Help, do you have any suggestion? And some of you guys posted, gave us, gave me a su suggestion, how about this, how about that? So as I was reading yesterday, I got an email message from my boss in the gym. And he is saying in his email that, well, I was very happy about hearing what happened last Saturday. And I just kind of said, what? What did I do? What did I do wrong? And he continues, well, the other instructor was very upset, along with her fellow students, very upset about what I did, how I behaved before her class uh, starting. And I have absolutely no idea what did I do wrong and what to upset them. And I didn't have any clue. And as you see, I trained for martial art in a karate world, I'm being trained to defend myself. <laughs> so if I'm under attack, block it. Until the attacker is out of bounds or a takedown is finished. <laughs> that's, that's how I train. So even in verbal world, I kind of act that way. I kind of automatically defense mechanism keep in as a survival. So I was just ready to like urge to burst out of email response to my boss saying, to tell my side of the story. I don't know what happened. She should have, you know, she should have told you, you know, instead of behind behind my back. I could say that just for my defense, to justify myself. But this time, I kind of take a deep breath, get in a zen mode, and say, I'm sorry for what happened. I didn't know till you told me, and it was completely unintentional. And you got it. I will call her up and apologize as you suggested. So at the end, she suggested you better call her up and apologize. So I was just, it hurt my ego so bad. My pride and confidence and trust went down the hill. But this time, I sent a message to him. You got it. I'm going to apologize. It was completely unintentional. Instead of telling my story and accused back about her talking behind my back. So, send email back, and usually it takes about a day to calm down and call, make a call. But as 
soon as I send an email, I pick up the phone and I call her up. And of course, 21st century, there's a caller ID. <laughs> <laughs> so of course, she doesn't pick up the phone. So I left three minute lengthy, max out message in the <laughs> mailbox. Just simply apologize and ask her if something like that happens in the future, I would like to know firsthand, personally. So that kind of feedback and criticism, I can improve myself, help me become a better person and a better professional. And I wrap up with complimenting her how great, instru awesome instructor she is. And you know, Usually, I just keep attacking, attacking, and this kind of situation, it's like, a, come on, you started, you know, <laughs> you want a piece of me? Come on, come on, come on, I'll finish it off, I'll finish it off. Kind of aggressive attitude I have, but this time, I simply surrender. And you know what, it felt so damn good. <laughs> you know, um, it's in, in, in general, for in a verbal world, it, it's so common for us if we are under attack for especially falsely accused or blamed on wrongly, we are just ready to defend and tell the world for the side of your story <coughs> and accuse back to the person who point finger at us, right? That's why lawyers make lots of money here. <laughs> Blaming each other, defend each other, prosecute each other. Someone told me that 80% of world population of attorneys are in the United States. And I believe that. And I think I'm in the wrong business. I should have been a lawyer. <laughs> but besides that, I feel so good by surrendering. And I noticed that if someone push you, you automatically push it back to defend. And once surrender open out, the attacker comes falls back into me. So that's a, a automatic acceptance. And it feels so good and uh, it was liberating feeling. So I ended up <coughs> sharing this story. I turned into a great experience, learning experience. So I ended up sharing the story to my Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, and lots of my friends said, yeah, you did the right thing, you're right on. And the one girl said, yeah, you strong. You just flex your internal muscles. Mm. And I said, that's right. I did this time, and I did really good. In a spiritually, true warrior, have courage to surrender. And I'm so glad i becoming one. Thank you. Thank you, Akiko, for the very inspiring message. Can I motivate me?